Welcome back, it's me. So today we're going to be talking about my poetry book, specifically how I'm going about outlining, compiling, and organizing it, trying to collect all my thoughts into one place since this is very new territory for me. So before I actually committed to the idea of writing this poetry book, I had previously just been getting ideas and notes and snippets of poems and just wrote them down in my, you know, day-to-day -day journal so that when I finally decided, okay, I'm actually going to do this, I feel like I have something here, I didn't really have an idea of how I was going to compile everything together. So I hopped on Google, uh, YouTube, how to outline poetry books, how to organize poetry books, how to format poetry books, and I got nothing, okay? nothing usable. The best piece of advice I found was in a blog post by this guy who was like, just put all your poems together. And I was like, thanks! <laughs> that cleared up everything. That's when I realized that what I'm doing is pretty out of the norm. I mean, like I said before, I've only come across a couple poetry books that followed a storyline that had a plot that, you know, told something. I mean, obviously all poetry books are collections of poems that have the same themes or, you know, are like a transformation of the speaker or what have you. But in the end, they're still collections. And a lot of the time when, you know, all your poems circle around one central theme, it might not be crucial the order that you put them in. So of course people are like, oh, just put them all together. It's like, okay. <laughs> and even for, you know, the writers out there who do write poetry books, you know, sort of following the guidelines of prose or whatever, they're not exactly uh, telling any secrets, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I found. So for this project, I'm pretty much on my own. So everything from here on out is going to be complete, just trial and error, and things are going to change and evolve as I figure out what works for me and what doesn't. Little bit of backstory, I guess, to my poetry book. Yes, it is a collection of poems, however, they're going to be telling a story. My main character is going to be moving from point A to B to C to D, whatever. There's going to be a wide spectrum of her narrative weaved in, while also circling around the city in which she lives. So I'm going to explain a little bit of this more when I get into it. <clears throat> <clears throat> the very first thing I decided when I was doing this was that I wanted to write down all my poems. Um, my style, I guess you could say, it's pretty raw, but <laughs> my style is definitely more freeform. Um, there is obviously like, you know, straight lines and stuff, but every once in a while I noticed that um, I'll kind of deviate from there and, you know, when you're typing on a computer, obviously, you know, you can tab and space and move things around, but with how quick the mind works and how in my mind, you know, I see things spaced out a certain way, I just knew it was going to be easier for me to write down um, all my poems, which then led me to decide, all right, since I'm writing down, you know, the majority, like the bulk of my poems, I don't want to like try and outline or keep all of my notes and stuff on a computer so that I'll be going back and forth. I wanted everything to go together in one spot, at least for now. I'm, you know, I'm still in like the, I guess, drafting process. This isn't like writing a regular book for me. You know, there's no like set outline so far and there's no like guidelines that I'm giving myself to follow. This is very much just trying to like dive in and see what happens. So first thing I did was get a notebook. This is a it's humongous. This is a Lloydsturm 1917 notebook. Specifically it is the, I pulled up on the computer, the Master Slim A4 Plus. Um, hardcover. It's like 120 some pages. I got the dotted one. I'll leave a link to it down below. It comes in all different colors and all different kinds of interior. Like there's dots, there's ruled, there's plain. My regular notebook that I started writing in and stuff is just like your regular sized Lloydstrom. Uh, and I mean that space was good if I was just writing a poem but I knew I would also be like editing and I knew I wanted to add in some more details which I'll get into in a second. So open this bad boy up. The very first page I just put the poetry book because um, <laughs> I don't have a title for it yet so once I do I'll put the title in there. Next we have what I like to call the mission statement. Basically this is just like a thought dump of what I want the story to accomplish questions I want to answer, themes I want to revolve around. So this is going to grow and change as I write and as things 
evolve, obviously. Next, I have a little character page. I have two main characters. Ophelia is my speaker, and then Valentine is my antagonist. At the bottom of the page there, I also have um, city, like a city sticky note. I don't have the name of the city yet, but once I do, I'll write that down because a very large part of this book is the city in which all of this takes place. It is not your normal kind of city. It and everything that goes on in there from the people to the buildings to the day-to-day -day activities are just metaphors for other stuff which as you read you know you'll connect the dots on your own. Next we have the subjects. Now this is going to be a two-page spread. This is just an easy way to keep track of the subjects of each poem. So for example Ophelia, my speaker, so far I have poems about her including her on pages 8, 9, 11, and 12. So this is just a big thing for me to be able to reference. This will help me later in organizing my thoughts and how I want the poems to land within the book. And then I have a two page spread for the sequence of events. This I just, I don't know exactly how this is going to work out. Um, my thought process is that once I start compiling enough poems and I get a good idea of how I want the story to flow, I can make like a little timeline between these two pages, probably use sticky notes so I can move them around of how things appear to the reader in the book. That'll help me get my thoughts together because I'm still unsure of how I want everything to be laid out. It is going to be, you know, a sequential book telling a story, but then between we're also going to be looking at other aspects of the city, not just everything that specifically involves Ophelia and Valentine. And then next we're getting into the poems. So as you can see, each page is kind of split up down the middle. On the left side of each dotted line, I have the actual poem. I have my little date at the top there when I wrote it originally. And then on the right, I'm going to be putting basically what this poem is doing, what its purpose is, um, what gets revealed to the reader, the metaphors it touches on, the themes. So I can quickly look back and say, all right, this is what I want to accomplish. When a person reads this poem, this is what I want to say. And then in the bottom left little corner there, I'm putting the loose titles. I don't know if I'm actually going to be naming each poem in the book. This is just for me to write on stickies when I go to my sequence of events and make the timeline. Or if I'm flipping through and I see little titles, I know exactly what the poem is about without having to look at it. And yeah, I mean, the poems are in no particular order. Um, I'm just kind of writing what comes to me, trying to get as much out as possible. I'm also playing with the idea of putting in little sketches in the actual book because I think that pictures and drawings in poetry books just adds to the overall aesthetic of them. As of right now, I'm still very much into the brainstorming, brain dumping, just trying to get my thoughts out onto the page sort of phase of the book. <laughs> and I'm really excited to figure out what will work for me. I think this is going to be a really stimulating challenge. So that's pretty much it. It's all um, I've really got to say about my poetry book thus far. Basically, this is all I have. <laughs> and I'm really excited to continue to take you guys along with me. So thank you so much for watching. All the links to my stuff will be down below. If you didn't already know, I mean, how could you not? The Scum at the End of the Road is now available for purchase. Ebook and paperback, links to that will be down there. Thank you so much for everyone who has already read it and commented and assured me that you did not throw it at the wall in disgust really appreciate that. <laughs> it makes me feel good. And I hope you will continue to uh, hang tight with me while we delve into this next big project. So uh, with that, I'm going to say goodbye and I will see you guys later.